Well, hello. Welcome to hello. another episode. I was trying Amber. So we should draw. Hello. We should drop a link. For happy that. Mother's Day. Yes, Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Yes. To all you mothers out there. You know that sounds derogatory. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> See, so that's what you think of us. Yeah. This is a day for all you mothers. Okay. You could edit that crap. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll edit it, okay? Yeah, I'm sure you will. And here's the edit. This is a day for all you mothers. 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 Mo mothers. All right. So, with that being said, uh, we're going to... Today, actually, is not so much a tribute to mothers, which it probably should have been, but... Yeah. I don't know how we could have done that, though. What would you do without us? Everyone has left. How well, yeah. many times do I hear, Don, where's this? Mom! Okay. Mom. Well, you know what? Let's get the main title out of the way and we'll continue this conversation after that. Uh, the main point we wanted to bring up with this video, after we've been traveling now for almost one year exactly. Yeah. Uh, this yeah. is like the middle of May. We started the end of May, so yeah. we're coming up on that one year anniversary. One year your retirement. Yeah. Wow. Mm. And what a what, what a year. A, what I, a year. I, it's so different. You know, now. It, it it was absolutely nothing compared to what we had planned. However, we wanted to talk about with one year of travel, uh we did do a video of the must-haves for the newbie RVer. If you're just starting out on RVing, there's things you need to have. We're not going to talk about that stuff. What we want to talk about right now are the top ten things that we feel that we feel right. are. Uh, we definitely are glad we're traveling with these things. So basically, uh, we're going to go over those, and Don has her top ten, and I have my top ten. And then we probably have a few honorable mentions because I think I have more than ten. So yeah. let's go ahead and start it out. So what was your? What's well, my first thing is my blow dryer. Thank you very much. I, you know, short hair. It it works sometimes. You just let it dry when it's 107 degrees out, like it's been here right now. Um, well, actually, we're 101 today, so that's not too bad. But um, I want my blow dryer. And my top ten are not necessarily in any specific order. No, not in any I specific just kinda, order. I just kind of, they're in the order as, as they came to me. And maybe this does say something. The number, uh, the number one on my list is my barbecue, excuse me. <laughs> uh, gotta have an outdoor barbecue. Now, some people like grills. Uh, there's that Blackstone grill, which is everyone raves about. I personally really do like my little um, Coleman uh, barbecue. Mm -hmm. It has its own stand. I am planning on picking up the griddle top for it, uh, but um, yeah, yeah, gotta, gotta have the barbecue. Gotta have the barbecue. Um, I would say my next thing would be my time out cooking. Okay, my crock pot, and and my and my um, what's the other oh, one? Insta pot. My Insta pot. I like those. I'm yeah. thinking about getting an air fryer though. Everyone is raving about them, and 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 I know Leanne, a good friend of ours, Leanne and Larry. We love you guys. Miss you. Be careful in Washington. Um, they rave about their, their yeah. air fryer. Yeah. So I'm thinking about an air fryer, too. But now, my crock pot and, and all of that, I and Instapot, is, I need those. Those are you, great. Mind you, if you're a weekend warrior, don't carry all this crap. No. Uh, stuff. <laughs> don't carry all this stuff <laughs> if you're a weekend warrior. No, crap. But if you're doing, if you're contemplating full-time, um, yeah, you got to have certain creature comforts. you got to have certain things that kind of... Well, you know what? Here's the thing, though. Even if you're a weekend warrior, to have a crock pot or an Insta pot is really cool because you can go and do stuff and you're not you're dinner's stuck. Ready. Yeah, dinner's dinner's ready, ready when you get back. Yeah. So a crock pot or an Insta pot are great, or the barbecue are great for even weekend warriors. Yeah. They really are. Now my next one, I, I almost gave it away, probably did, is the generator. You've mm. got to have electricity uh, when you're traveling and... You don't always want to be locked down to um, full hookups or yeah. even partial hookups. Yeah, especially if you're boondocking out by the river fishing or, or well, by the lake. Madison you, Campground you know, in Yellowstone. On. There was no electrical hookups right. in Madison. 
we ran into some problems, and thank goodness uh, we had someone who let us borrow their generator to help keep those batteries up. Yeah. Um, I would say, um, you know what? My music. I miss my music. And when I say my music, I've got CDs of, of Celtic Thunder. I love that. And and when I'm cleaning, so I have certain things I like. Inya, um, a lot of that stuff. When I'm cleaning the rig, doing stuff like that, I don't always like what's on the radio, plus all the commercials and stuff. Yes, I have, you know... What is it? Um, on my phone, I have, um, what is it? Sir Siri? And so, I'm Cirrus. sorry. Saris, whatever. Saris. Um, but I I do miss just my own music. The things I like and, and enjoy. And I'm glad you mentioned music. Uh, because I go. like traveling with musical instruments. Uh, I did have to pare down. Takes up. Yeah, I did have to pare down. I do have my acoustic guitar. It sits out most of the time. Uh, I have some harmonicas. I've started to uh, pick up harmonica now. That's a lot of fun. <laughs> really good. Uh, yes. We have... Um, I do have uh, my shorty electric bass, and I just recently picked up the shorty guitar, the little travel guitar and travel bass, and a Those small Gibson, amplifier. Right? Hoffner. Hoffner. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Hoffner. Um I I am we're not traveling through the south this summer so I'm going to basically uh leave my banjo um in storage while we're gone for this this next go around but uh the following year when we do go through the south uh there's some campgrounds I want to go to and I figure I'm going to pick up some really great tips from some of these guys uh, where they yeah, have with, especially when every, they every, just night, have the, jam every night jam sessions. Yeah, so yeah. my banjo unfortunately is not going to travel with me this summer but and my acoustic bass is not going to travel. We've talked about those before. I, I carry way too many instruments, yeah. but I think I got a good number now yeah. that I'm traveling with. So I oh, want a keyboard. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, it's 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 a must-have when you're a musician. Simple, ladies, nothing simple. Yeah, but if you're a musician, you definitely get it. Okay. Yeah. All right. And now you're. No, I'm not denying that. I'm not denying that. It's been great. It's go been ahead. great. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, okay. Still back onto the cooking thing. I would say I a good. Small set of pots and pans, or or things that are very versatile for cooking, as far as pots and pans are concerned. Um, a, a small set of like even baking ware. All right. Now, uh, with risk of having to turn in my man card, um, you need the right amount of tools. <laughs> uh, I I was carrying too many tools. Uh, yes, uh, there is. Uh, a possibility of too many tools when you're trying to travel in an RV. I had two cordless drills. I, I'm basically leaving one behind. Um, I had a tool chest with not just duplicates, but triplicates of just about all the tools that I carry. So what I'm carrying now is I have uh, this really cool set of Harbor Freight uh, tools that I picked up that pretty much has one of everything. I do have a small quick bag that I can grab in an instant that has a variety of screwdrivers and wrenches and a lot of the stuff that's in the Harbor Freight thing, but it's easier to get to. I do have a cordless drill that's easy to get to. I have a corded drill that takes a little more effort to get to. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I've got my solder and I do have a number of tools, so I keep my man card there, but I'm not carrying too many, but you do need tools. You never know when something's going to break or break yeah. down. And inside the RV, I like having an all-purpose, couple of all-purpose well, tools the junk that drawer. if I need them, might yeah, the RV junk drawer. Yes, we but, do have a junk drawer. <laughs> you know, you gotta have a junk drawer. I'm sorry, but anyway, um, it's nice to have a couple of things that are all-purpose kind of tools, also in case of a quick. Yeah, I need something now. Well, I got my two Leathermen that I carry around with me yeah. all the time too. Leathermen so. are great for that. So Leathermen I'm, I'm definitely, great. I'm definitely got my tools. So, okay. so. next, next, um, okay. command strips. I love my command strips. Okay, I've got a few things hung up here and um, that kind of inside decor to make it homey, you know, to make it feel like home. We have a fireplace in here. So we have something that we brought that belonged to C's dad that was by the, the his fireplace in his home. And it's one of those old-fashioned... Billows. Um, billows, yeah. And it has an N on it. It's really beautifully designed um, and stuff. But it um, 
we have that hanging by our fireplace. And I thought, how am I going to hang this? And command strip works great. Yeah. I've hung a couple other things. Um, also, friends wall gave hangings. Me. Wall hangings. Wall are... hangings. Yeah, it's it's really wonderful. You got to be careful so. about putting holes in the wall of an yeah. RV. Um, yeah. You're not. You're. You, it may seem like an okay idea, but you know it's really yeah. not. Just we have our towels hanging. I got really fancy, really nice command strips. Heavy duty. Command heavy strips heavy are, duty, yeah. and we have our our bath towels hanging on those. So command strips are. I'm looking around while I'm thinking yeah. about it. Command strips are great for that. So, yep. yeah, I love my command strips. All right. Water filtration system and the Brita water filter. Um, I see people all the time running down to get bottled water. Yeah. You can filter your own as long as you know that your water source is relatively good. Uh, we use the Brita. I have a water filter on the outside. I am planning on getting, like, a three-stage filter system for under the sink, uh, eventually, and possibly even reverse off. There goes system. more room. We have, well, we... I know it's we an area, it's, it's an area we don't really go into much, yeah. and I can put it all the way to the back wall yeah. in there, and it'll actually. No, I had work, I had so. um, again Leanne and Larry. I, I kind of asked Leanne I, when we, before they left. I said, "What would some of your top ten be? What what can't you be without?" You know, and the one thing they mentioned um, that Leanne mentioned was their water softener. Yeah. There's a water softener system you can get for yeah. RVs, and yeah. we might be looking into that too. But I think I want to get the water filtration system right. first, and then right. we'll look into that. Well, they have a washer and dryer too, so Got it. that that helps. So yeah. your next one. My next one, um, <laughs> again on command strips, family photos, so that I can put up. You know, I've got a photo of, of the kids here and some other stuff. Not a lot, but just a couple of photos that you know we can have out. One thing that. Um, our future daughter-in-law, Christina, gave us a couple years ago for Christmas was one of those photo frames that is, changes the digital, pictures, yeah. digital photo frame. And I love it. That's that's perfect. So, um, of course, you've got to be plugged in for it, but I love it. It's great. So we have our digital photo frame, which is wonderful. Cool. Um, I have on here a Wi-Fi solution. We have talked about this so much. Oh, and we TV! Still, we, I want my TV <laughs> shows. We still don't have a solid Wi-Fi solution yet. I have a few things that I'm investigating. No. We almost had it. Please but we let still, us know. We still have the hotspot off of our phones. So in a pinch, I can use that. Uh, I just got to be careful how much data I use. Because I, it does take up a lot it of data does, if I yeah. need to transfer or stream movies off of it. Now, but, we don't necessarily um, pay for it, but they will either cut you off altogether. Now, that's or, only that's yeah. only if you use the hotspot yeah. to link it to another device. Right. If I hooked it all up and just ran and watched movies off my phone, I can go. It's unlimited. Uh, but I, it's just to be able to stream to the TV or upload a video off my computer. So. Yeah. Uh, we're still looking for that, but that is a very important must-have. Please, if you guys have any suggestions, <laughs> any ideas, and mostly everything we've been getting on the Wi-Fi is our f using your phones. And there's got to be another solution out there. There just has to be. Okay. So, Next. please. Okay. Um, my teapot. Because I like tea. You know, in the evening sometimes I, I have a nice cup of herbal tea or something to help relax me or whatever, especially if it's been a long day. Um, make some tea, things like that. It's kind of fun. So I think, uh, uh, you know, a lot of people, I, again, what, what's one of your top ten? They, first of all, the bottom is a lot of the women, my coffee pot. So yeah, I think that's something that some people have said, you know, is one of their top ten. Okay, for mine here, um, it's cameras, GoPro, DSLR camera, and now my drone. Yes. <laughs> we got a drone, yay! Definitely... Definitely Thank you, must have. Uh, even if we weren't doing a YouTube channel, even if there wasn't a YouTube channel, still making memories, taking pictures, documenting yeah. your travels. It's just, it's just. So once you get go. going, you'll get to see a lot of that again yeah. on on our channel. So keep an eye out for some of that. Hopefully, we'll be out of here the first week ah, of June. Boy. So counting down. All yeah, right, yeah. your next one. I don't know what my. You know what I I need. My comfy chairs for sitting outside. I've got one of these really neat comfy chairs that I picked up in quartzite, and it's kind of surrounds you, and it's really comfy, and it's cushy and stuff. So I would, you know, outside. 
I like to be able to decorate outside. So, because I like the feeling of home, especially for park for any amount of time. What are you grinning at? I'm grinning at because I'm thinking of all the outdoor chairs we now have that we're going to figure out what we're going to leave behind. We have two of the the fold out Bass Pro type chairs. Yep. We have two of the my favorite, the chair that pops out with a little side table to it. You have your comfy chair, and we have two recliners now. Yeah, we're carrying gas. So and one, Genesis two, three, recliners. four, five, six, seven outdoor chairs. Even if it's us and the Huskies, we still have room for three people to come visit, <laughs> right? So. Oops. <laughs> Okay. Well, the recliners would be nice. My comfy chair, and then you can pick out whatever. We'll you want. figure out. We'll figure. We'll it figure out. it out. But okay. anyway. Okay. Uh, one thing that I picked up, uh, you know, when we had the flat tire, I was really concerned because it's just a pain. First of all, I had to find where the jack was for the uh -huh. truck. It was kind of hidden away. And yeah, they forgot to tell us. It's where it a was. little. I'm a little nervous with those little jacks. Uh, so. We actually, because we have the long bed uh, turbo diesel with the long bed truck uh, bed, uh, I picked up a floor jack, a three ton Harbor Freight floor jack. Harbor Freight is great. And I really am glad we're traveling with that. I feel far more comfortable. And I also have some jack stands, the floor jack and jack stands. So if we ever have a problem on the road, um, I'm not going to feel so nervous about it. Just whip that thing out of the back of the truck and jack it up. And well, and then. Away. I also, we, we signed up again for good the Good Sam. This time you ever was And this time, because I thought we had it before, and I thought our insurance had it. I, I thought it was one or the other. Neither one of them had it. So um, I got roadside assistance on Good Sam this year. So just in case. That is kind of a You know, you have it, you don't need it. You don't have it, you need it. So the Good Sam, is that your must-have? That is one of my must-haves, is my Good Sam Road Aside. Plus a lot of discounts, a lot of good stuff, so yeah. And then once again from Harbor Freight, uh, my next one on here is what I call my hail blankets. You get the blankets. feeling we love Harbor Freight? Hail blankets. Actually, hail blankets are nothing more than furniture pads and, and a box of bungee cords. Um, I mean, this was a brand new truck. Last summer, brand new truck. They were talking about hailstones the size of, of golf balls. And so we went out and completely covered the truck. At the time, I didn't have all these blankets, so the front, the window was covered with the dog beds. We had this big old heavy blanket that Don had over the roof. I had what, what furniture blankets we did yeah. have over the hood. And, uh, you know, we thought, okay, we're going to cover it. Well, now I have a, a emergency box of all this stuff that, if we have hail coming, we just cover. Well, the what truck I up. thought was funny is we've got the truck covered with the blanket, not, you know, with the hail blankets or the the furniture covers, and everybody in the park where we were, we were in Box Elder at the time, and our neighbors came around going, "Oh my God, they had a great idea. Where'd you get well, those?" Well, at first they were kind of laughing at us yeah. about it, and then they thought, "Wow, it's a great idea." The next day, when they said the hailstorm was coming back. Everybody in the park had blankets all over their cars. <laughs> the poor Harbor Freight down the street sold out of all the so blankets. So we we uh, we started something. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, so that was actually pretty good. So that was kind of cool. Okay. Uh, let's probably see what have I got. I think I got. Left. You know what? Um, I have one left. I have my griddle um, for pancakes and different things like that. I like art. And what's really cool. One of the neighbors here, we have twice a year. Well, we didn't have it twice because of the pandemic this year. But we got the first one in the fall, and we have like a little... Um, garage sale. Gra it's, it's a community garage sale thing. And so my neighbor across the street had this little griddle. Um, well, not a griddle. It was a, a waffle no, maker. No, a waffle maker. Which is really cute. Perfect for, for RV size. So I got that, and it's great. And so I have my little waffle maker... And I have a really nice griddle, um, electric griddle, which is great. Yeah. So I do like those things. Uh, I don't but use them as often as I should. If you probably, do wind up with a Blackstone, you wouldn't need to carry a separate griddle. I would love to get yeah, a Blackstone, Blackstone, actually. I just don't know where I would store Again, that. Again, Larry, you know, Leanne and Larry I, I love don't know where I would store that because it is much bigger. Our griddle is really small and No, and they had flat. smaller. I saw smaller Blackstones. Yeah. But you know what? We'll, we'll and, work on that one. And I have one left. Um, and that is the electric cordless fan. They, you know, battery operated or it could be plugged in. 
Uh, if you are in a place where there is no electricity, um, you're running the generator to charge your batteries, but at night you don't want to be running, the, you can't run the generator, and you also want to make sure you can stay cool. And mm -hmm. this little electric fan has done an amazing job. Yeah, so we yes. can run it off the batteries, yep. um, we can charge it up during the day plugging it in. Uh, yeah, so I would definitely... In fact, I've got a, a picture. When we first got here, it was so hot. Again, oh, of the dogs yeah. laying in front of the... Both of them, they yeah. took turns laying in front of this little fan next yeah. to the to the couch. Well, we have gone way too long. We have. I'm so sorry. we probably should knock this off. Well, there's a whole lot in the beginning you can knock off. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what we can do about trimming things up. And then there's some things I have to leave in. I'm sorry. No, you okay. don't. Yeah. No, you don't. Okay. No, you don't. Uh, so basically, that is... We even bored the dogs. They are passed out. They are. Uh, that's it for this episode. Um, make sure that you hit the subscribe, or about now there's probably a little logo popping up on one side or the other. If you hover over that, you can subscribe by clicking on that. And also... Hit that bell, and then that way you'll know every time we post, and that's usually around Sunday it's Sundays at, at 2, two o'clock. Again, this is on a Sunday, Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day yep. to all the moms out Happy there. Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers. And <laughs> I could have said to all you mothers. <laughs> Sorry. So, uh, safe travels. Hope to see you on the road sometime later. Take care.